So the, the wording in this problem is a little bit tricky. Uh, basically, we're saying that if we have copper at 298K and one atmosphere, if we raise the pressure at constant temperature from 1 to 1,000 uh, ATM, how much does the enthalpy change? And given that, how much does the temperature have to raise if we were to increase the temperature at constant pressure uh, to yield the same change in enthalpy? Another point to note here is that uh, I'm using my old version of the textbook from uh, when I was an undergrad, and there, there's a typo. So those of you that have the, the fifth edition, uh, you'll have this correct. Those of you that have the third and the fourth edition, uh, this should be 10 to the minus four. Because that's the, uh, this is a relatively large, it's a huge uh, coefficient of thermal expansion. So, okay, so let's write this out. Uh, So basically, we're going to say that the change in enthalpy due to change in temperature star Cp dt delta H const pressure is equal to the change in enthalpy at constant temperature, which is going to be this, P1 to P2, V1 minus alpha T dP is equal to delta H constant temperature. Okay, so let's get this first. <clears throat> so that's the integral from 1 to 1,000 atmospheres times V, which is given as, where is that at? Here it is, 7.09 cubic centimeter, and we're going to be working in liters. So that is 7.09 uh, divided by 1,000. So that is V in liters times 1 minus alpha, which is 0 0.49 three times 10 to the minus four times temperature, which is 298. And then all of this is giving us liter atmosphere. And because we're working in joule, joule per mole, then this has to be times 101 joule per year atmosphere. And if you do this, this yields, what comes out of this? What comes out of this is 7.05 times 10 to the 2 joule per mole. Okay, so then going back and setting these equal, we get 705 is equal to the integral from 298 to T star 
And then the heat capacity of copper is 30.29 minus 10.71 times 10 to the minus 3 T minus 3.22 times 10 to the 5 T to the minus 2 dT. And when you solve this, uh, you're going to find three roots. You're going to find T star is equal to 34.6328 and 5000. 290. Well, we know that we have to put energy into the system, so it can't be decreasing the temperature. This is above the melting temperature, therefore that's the answer. So we have to heat from 298 to 328 K to get uh, the equivalent change in enthalpy with uh, to having the, the pressure change from zero to 1,000.